Alrighty, here's one other sample question that you might see on your bonding unit exam coming up. It's similar to some AP questions that have been used in the past. Um, but here you see a molecule. You've got carbon, sulfur, chlorine, phosphorus, and hydrogens all attached together to make this lovely molecule. And of course that's a Lewis structure. And as this question says, in the 3D molecule, angle Y is not really 90 degrees like it appears to be in this drawing. Explain why in terms of electron domains, aka Vesper theory. And so when you look at this part of the molecule, okay, this is a larger molecule, and you can look through the eyes of different atoms and when you do you can see what type of molecular geometry might be going on around that molecule. So for example <coughs> right now I'm focusing on the phosphorus because angle Y has to do with the phosphorus atom. So I'm going to look at the phosphorus atom as my central atom. And then around my phosphorus atom, I need to look at how many electron domains there are. So I see a hydrogen atom, another hydrogen atom, a carbon atom, and a lone pair. So that adds up to four electron domains around that atom. All right. And so if I have four electron domains, then I should remember and realize that the geometry for four electron domains is a tetrahedral arrangement. And so in a tetrahedral arrangement, we don't have 90 degrees. Okay, instead we have a 109.5 degree angle of separation. Technically, that lone pair actually makes the, the angles at 107 degrees, but 109.5 is totally acceptable. And technically, for this question, it just says explain why. It doesn't really force you to give the bond angle. I would accept, and I'm sure the AP graders would accept, the fact that you would mention there are four electron domains around the central phosphorus atom, leading to a tetrahedral arrangement of those domains. And that should be enough. But if you threw in the 109.5 or 107 as a little added bonus, that couldn't hurt you. All right. Now there's a second part to this question. And it says, in the 3D molecule, again, angle X is not really 180 degrees like it appears to be in the drawing. Estimate what the angle truly is and justify your answer. Okay, so here's that picture again. And now angle X is involving this part of the molecule where carbon is the central atom. Okay, and again, need to look at my domains. And when I look around my carbon atom, I see this chlorine atom, this sulfur atom, and this phosphorus atom. Okay, there's no lone pair or anything else. There are three electron domains around the carbon atom. And so you should know and remember that a three electron domain uh, positioning is trigonal planar arrangement. So the three electron domains around the central carbon atom is a trig trigonal planar arrangement and shape because there's no lone pairs affecting the electron geometry, affecting the shape of the molecule. Now here it asks us to estimate what the angle truly is. And so here we do need to mention that we know that it's a 120 degree bond angle difference in a trigonal planar situation. Okay, and that should be enough. Okay, it's asking you to show that it's not really 180 degrees. So you say three electron domains around the central atom, to trigonal planar arrangement and shape, which is a leads to an angle of 120 degrees instead. You could go further, but really the truth is what's going on, 120 degrees is the maximum separation of those domains. It minimizes the energy of the molecule. That's all icing on the cake. Okay, you will get the full credit from me and an AP grader if you would say the three domains around the central atom, trigonal planar arrangement, 120 degrees. All right, so I hope this helps, and I hope you're studying for your unit exam and get a fantastic grade. All right, see you soon.